Ngayon naman ay magsasagot naman tayo ng uh, application ng derivatives na kung saan magsusulat tayo ng equation ng tangent line given yung function at hahanapin natin yung equation ng tangent line using derivative. Let's start with problem number one. We have y equal to secant x at point pi over 3 and 2. Kailangan daw ma natin ma isulat yung equation ng tangent line sa point na ito. So, ang kailangan natin sa equation ng tangent line, syempre, kailangan natin ang value ng x, kailangan din natin ang value ng y, at kailangan natin ang value ng slope. At yung slope na ito ay makukuha natin sa pagkuha ng derivative ng function. Kasi yung value ng x, given na siya, which is pi over 3, at yung y is 2. So, yung m na lang yung hahanapin natin. So, to do that, kukunin natin yung derivative ng secant x. At alam natin na ang derivative ng secant x ay secant x and times tangent x. So y prime is equal to secant x times tangent x. But we have to evaluate this derivative at x equal to 1 kasi kailangan natin makuha yung slope at point pi over 3 and 2. I'm sorry, this one is pi over 3. So, is a substitute lang natin yung value ng x, which is pi over 3, times tangent pi over 3. So, kailangan natin dito yung ating mga values ng sine, cosine function, at mas ma mahalaga na mem memorize nyo na yung mga values na ito para mas madali natin makuha yung mga solutions natin. So, unahin natin si secant pi over 3. At si secant, alam natin ang inverse ng secant ay cosine. So, kukunin lang natin reciprocal ng cosine at pi over 3, which is 1 half. So, ang, ang reciprocal niya is 2. So, 2 kasi secant yung hinahanap natin. At sa tangent naman, hindi na natin kailangan ng reciprocal. Let's go at pi over 3 at square root of 3 yung value niya. So, alam natin ngayon na yung y prime evaluated at x equal to 3, I mean pi over 3, is equal to 2 square root of 3. At ito na yung ating value ng slope. So, alam na natin ngayon yung value ng slope, which is 2 square root of 3. Isusulat na natin ngayon yung tangent line. So, sa tangent line, kailangan alam natin yung formula ng equation ng line. So, using the point slope form, we have y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. By substitution, papaltan lang natin si y sub 1, x sub 1, and m nung mga values natin dito. So, we'll have y minus 2 equals 2 square root of 3 times x minus x sub 1, which is pi over 3. So, ito ngayon yung ating equation ng tangent line. So, yan yung sa problem number 1. Now, let's have problem number 2. So problem number 2, same thing. So, kopyahin natin yung equation. 2 is y equals secant x minus 2 cosine x at point pi over 3 ulit at yung value ng y naman is 1. So, again, kailangan natin ng value ng x, kailangan natin ng value ng y, at kailangan natin yung slope para makuha natin yung equation ng tangent line. So, pi over 3 is our x, at si y naman is 1. Para makuha naman natin yung equation ng slope, kailangan natin makuha yung derivative ng function at i-evaluate natin siya at x equal to pi over 3 ulit. So, y sub I mean, y prime is equal to derivative ng secant x minus 2 times derivative ng cosine x. So, alam natin yung derivative ng secant x is simply secant x tangent x. So, y prime is secant x tangent x minus 2 times derivative ng cosine x is equal to negative sine x. So, by simplifying our derivative, we'll have secant x tangent x plus 2 
sin x. So, ito ngayon yung derivative function at kailangan natin makuha yung specific value ng m. So, i-evaluate natin yung derivative natin at x equal to pi over 3. So, secant pi over 3 times tangent pi over 3 plus 2 sine pi over 3. So, again, kailangan lang natin dito is yung mga values ng mga sine and cosine natin. So, alam natin kanina yung secant pi over 3 is derivative lang ng um, or inverse lang ng cosine. So, cosine pi over 3 is 1 half. So, ito ay 2 multiplied by tangent pi over 3 at yung tangent pi over 3 natin is square root of 3 plus 2 times sine pi over 3 so sine pi over 3 square root of 3 over 2 square root of 3 over 2 so ito ngayon yung value ng slope natin so by simplifying it we'll have 2 square root of 3 plus we can cancel this out we'll end up with square root of 3 and 2 square root of 3 plus 3 is simply 3 square root of 3 at ito na ngayon yung m natin so meron na tayo ngayong m which is 3 square root of 3 so ang kailangan na lang natin is isulat yung tangent line using the formula y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1 and by substitution, we'll be able to write yung tangent line no point na to sa equation na binigay sa atin. So, y minus 1, 3, square root of 3, x minus pi over 3. So, yan yung tangent line nung ating pangalawang function. Sa pangatlong function, meron tayong polynomial. So, y equals 1 plus 2x to the 10th power at point zero 0,1. Alam na natin yung x natin, which is 0. Yung y natin, which is 1. Ang kailangan na lang natin is yung value ng slope. So, yan yung hahanapin natin using derivatives. So, gamit ang chain rule, yung y prime natin will be, so chain rule ang gagamitin natin dito. We'll find the derivative ng polynomial na to. So, 10 times 1 plus 2x to the 9th multiplied by the derivative of 1 plus 2x which is yung loob so y prime natin would be 10 1 plus 2x to the 9th times the derivative which is simply 2 so you evaluate natin siya ngayon para makuha natin yung value ng slope using derivative at the value of x at 0 so we have 10 1 plus 2 times 0 to the 9th times 2, which gives us 10 multiplied by 1 to the 9th times 2, will give us 10 times 2, which is equal to 20. At ito ngayon yung ating slope dito sa pangatlong example. So, 20. So, the tangent line. will be found using the point slope form by plugging it in y minus 1 20 x minus 0 will have the equation of the tangent line and if you want to further simplify it you can change this into um, uh, y intercept form so plus 1 both sides simplifying it and it will be y equals mx plus b now let's have the uh, last example yung last example natin will be a little bit different from the other three kasi according dito sa problem natin we need to find the equation of the tangent line that is normal 
O at saka yung normal line sa curve na ito at x equal to 1. So, parehas din lang naman yung um, solution. Kukunin natin yung derivative kasi kailangan natin yung tangent line pero kailangan din rin natin yung normal line. So, mamaya natin kunin yung normal line. So, first we have the function y equals x cubed plus 1 all over 2x at x equal to 1. So, according to the problem, we need to find the value of x, we need to find the value of y, at we need to find the value of the slope. So, since yung y hindi binigay sa atin, so hahanapin natin yung y by using the equation at pa-plug in natin yung x value para makuha natin yung y value, which is 1 plus 1 all over 2, which gives us 2 over 2. So, we know it is simply 1. So, yung y value natin is 1 pa rin. So, hanapin naman natin ngayon yung slope. Yung slope natin, mahanap natin by finding the derivative ng y prime. And to find y prime, we need the quotient rule. Which is low d high minus high d low all over low low or low squared. So, using that formula y prime is equal to low derivative ng high minus high derivative ng low all over 2x squared. So, by Finding the derivatives, makukuha natin yung equation na hahanapin natin. So we have 2x times derivative nito would be 3x squared minus x cubed plus 1 times derivative of 2 all over 2x squared. So, after natin makuha yung derivative, hindi na natin kailangan siyang isimplify kasi what we can do now is to find the slope by plugging in the value of x which is 1 dito sa derivative function natin. So, by substitution, we'll have 2 times 1 times 3 times 1 squared minus 1 cubed plus 1 times 2 all over 2 times 1 squared. So we'll have 2 times 3 minus 2 times 2 all over 4. So by further simplifying this, we'll have the value of the slope. So we'll have um, 6 minus 4 all over 4 which will give us 2 all over 4 or 1 half. So yung slope natin will be 1 half. So all we have to do is to write the equation of the tangent line at saka write na equation of tangent line and the normal line to the curve which is itong function na ito. So dalawa yung magiging sagot natin. So unahin natin yung tangent line. Yung tangent line, madali lang kasi alam na natin yung formula which is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus 1. So y minus yung uh, sulat ko lang dito, yung values ng x is 1, y is 1, and m is 1 half. So by substitution, y sub 1 is 1, 1 half x minus 1. So, ito yung tangent line. So, ano naman yung normal line? Yung normal line in mathematics is basic, basically a line that is perpendicular to the curve. So, kukunin lang natin yung perpendicular line nitong equation na to. And to do that, alam natin na yung line na perpendicular will be the negative reciprocal ng m. At ang negative reciprocal ng m, which is 1 half, is negative 2. 
So that means yung normal line niya is simply y minus 1 equals negative 2 times x minus 1, which is the same values nito, pero yung reciprocal niya, yung perpendicular line will be negative 2, kasi negative reciprocal. So ito yung ating equation ng normal line.